is a beneficiary hierarchy to trusts in California. That means not all beneficiaries are equal. Some beneficiaries outrank other beneficiaries. They have better rights than other beneficiaries. The starting point is current beneficiaries, people who are named now, they're supposed to be receiving something out of the trust. That's what we call a current vested beneficiary. They definitely are gonna have better rights than a remainder beneficiary, somebody who's not gonna receive their assets until some point in the future, once somebody dies or once something else happens. So current beneficiaries are in higher order than, than remainder beneficiaries, which their rights haven't vested yet. The other difference between beneficiaries comes in the types of gifts that are being given. If a beneficiary is given a specific piece of real property, that's a specific gift. That beneficiary is highest in the pecking order. They're gonna get their gift first. Next in line are people who are getting general gifts. Those are gifts of money. They're gonna get their gifts second. Last in line are the remainder or residue beneficiaries. They have to get to the back of the line. They're gonna get their gifts last. And so there is a hierarchy in terms of the type of gifts that you're gonna receive. And lastly, there's a difference between beneficiaries who are getting their gift outright versus those that are getting them by a gift that's held in further trust. So if you're supposed to receive something out of the trust outright, it's just yours, that's a much stronger claim because you can go to the trustee and say, hey, I'm supposed to have this outright and I want it now or within a reasonable time. And you're gonna get that property or gift or cash or whatever it is, you're gonna get it into your own hands without any other strings attached. Whereas if you get your gift in trust, meaning it's gonna be continued to be held in a trust, now your gift is gonna come with all sorts of strings attached. So then you have to look at the document and say, well, who's gonna be the trustee of your money? And what are your distribution rights? Do you have a right to receive income? Do you have a right to receive principal? Is there any limitation on the amount of income and principal you can receive? Because oftentimes there is, and you're gonna to have to figure that out. So. Yes, you're getting a gift, but because it's in trust, it has a lot of strings attached and it might be a very narrow gift because there might be a lot of restrictions or it might be a more broad gift because the restrictions aren't that bad. It just depends on your particular trust. Albertson and Davidson is here to help you fight for your inheritance. Check out aldavlaw.com for our complete library of helpful legal videos and articles from your favorite California trust and will litigation law firm, Albertson & Davidson, LLP.